what's going on people of the internet now you're probably thinking from the title james has your zombie apocalypse weapon idea changed obviously we go over this link in the description you know what i'm talking about my favorite sword and probably one of my favorite weapons is the katana But it's not something I endorse for. I endorse for um, a zombie apocalypse. It's a long blade that you have to keep clean, and you need certain things to keep it clean. Like you have to take the whole darn thing apart to clean it. This, it's beautifully clay tempered. Very well forged. The Ito, it's, it's great. Like, you know, you get, the Ito is tight on it. Don't even get me started on the Saya over here. Or the scabbard. But, yeah. If you honestly carry it on your belt or, or, or on your back or something. But, the maintenance it requires, the length of the blade it requires, and the fact that finding a good one is is uh, almost as hard as finding a uh, shred of areas. Unless you're very wealthy and you collect very uh, rare swords. The price for a good uh, katana, it's up there. Like a good authentic Japanese katana, it's up there. I mean, we, we have the... Uh, the uh, Chinese T10, 1095 stuff. But yeah. So, as much as I love this weapon, and it is what you see me out there training with most, mainly I use my Tachi now. But, I love this weapon, but it is not my choice for the zombie apocalypse. Had you asked me years ago, it would have been, but no. I have a review for these two. You can find that somewhere on my page. But, yeah. I got the leather vest on. Like, you know, Daryl's my guy. Like, you know, crossbow, even though that's a terrible weapon for the zombie apocalypse. When these came out in 2018, these knives, I want. I was so hard set on, on finding them. Like, man. I wanted nothing more than these knives in my collection. I wanted to hike with them, I wanted to train with them, I wanted to, you know, learn how to use them. And then when I officially started learning knives at my dojo, even more. But knives are short, typically. Like a knife, for me, typically is something with a seven inch blade. That's a, that's a knife for me, that's not a knife, that's a knife. Yeah, the crocodile and the knife is a mini sword. Sorry, guys. So, this, these are knives. And they're gray, like, but in reverse grip, with the ring finger and the ring, um, you know, not everyone knows how to train that way. Hell, I'm not even sure I do. And you could... You could hold them this way and you know do the slashing and the chopping but the ring kind of gets in the way and my finger almost goes to the whole thing and also uh, you can just cut your freaking fingers off just by letting go of it but you know they're fun to flip around and play with and stuff But yeah, I think knives are good for zombie apocalypse. You know, they're standard, they're, and you can just find more. Knives are everywhere. Kitchen knives I don't recommend for zombies, but you can find a knife anywhere and use it. Cause you cook, right? You use a knife there. You carve pumpkins, right? Yeah, knives aren't that hard to figure out. 
But if you don't have proper training, the training for knives is more than you think. Not as much training as a gun, but, you know, I'm not talking about guns. Hell, I'm not even sure I can say gun without being demonetized. But, um, yeah, I love these things. And if the zombies came out and I had to choose one thing right off the bat, these guys. But for the long run, mm, they're short, they have to be held a certain way. And knives in general, the real question is the handle. And once your firearm's out of ammo and all you have is a knife, depending on how many how many zombies there are, you could be screwed. So has my opinion changed? Now this is my falchion. I have been having a lot of playtime with this spell. This spell, I have the hiccups. And I don't have to tell you, just watch here. So here I am just about to, you know, yep, see that? I'm just chopping right through that box. Chopped all the way to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna, and, oh, there we go. See, this thing's razor sharp. Sure, I got some markings from the cardboard on it that I had to clean off. But yeah, I just imagine what that would do to a zombie. Like, it's weight. I hit anything with it, it's going down. Human threats, it's probably going to disorient, depending on where I hit them. But yeah. It's got a point. It's got an edge. Despite how crazy this it's got a long way. And watch this. Chopped right into the wood. No edge damage. At all. Yeah, I've been having fun. This thing is made of a spring steel, and it's a good spring steel. It has weight like an axe, so I really have fun with it. And you know, 37 inches right here of blade. Keeps the zombie away from me so I can stab, I can slice. As opposed to just having two seven inch blades where a zombie can easily penetrate my defenses and just bite me or rip something off me. Yeah, so like machetes. I think machetes are ideal for the zombie apocalypse. I think they are ideal. Because they are long blades, say they're about to here. Maybe there. But yeah, you, you chop. You can also stab. They have enough of a point to where you can stab. So a good machete, I recommend for a melee weapon in a zombie apocalypse. You saw me with my Chinese down in, in the weapons video I did. Bet your ass you can make that work. Anyone could. Because the stick, you know, fighting with a stick, that was an analog for the machete. Everybody knows that. But yeah, you put this in front of someone, nothing's stopping its sharp blade from just traveling through it. And I don't have to talk about the scabbard. Oh, you're looking cool and having my favorite color on it. This thing will fit nicely in my belt, or I can just attach some string to it, and uh, it'll fit fine if I have to, um, you know, amputate someone's arm and use my belt as a tourniquet. So there you have it. Has my zombie apocalypse weapon choice changed? You bet your bridges has changed. Hey, y'all can have fun with your guns and your bombs and all that crap. I 
I'm going with my falchion sword. Maybe a good K bar or something to, uh, or maybe a knife of some sort on my belt for a sidearm. So, so yes. My choice of weapon for the zombie apocalypse, falchion sword. So, peace, love, thanks for watching.